right now, there are thousands of satellites orbiting Earth. Thousands! How did they get there, and should we be worried about them crashing down on our heads? Well, a satellite hitches a ride on the top of a rocket to get to space. It's enclosed in a metal shield called a fairing, which breaks off once the package leaves Earth's atmosphere. This episode of Test Tube 101 is brought to you by the United States Air Force. That rocket carrying the precious cargo breaks apart in a few stages while on its path to orbit. When the first section or stage of the rocket depletes its fuel, that section just breaks off and falls back to Earth. Then it's on to the next stage which has additional fuel to complete the trip. Once a satellite reaches its desired orbital height, it opens its solar panels and communication antennas and gets ready to do whatever job it was designed to do. But how does it not come crashing back down over our heads? Well, as we all know, the force of gravity pulls everything towards Earth. But there's another force. That's the speed or velocity at which the satellite is moving. Now, if these two forces are in perfect balance, then the satellite will remain in orbit anything else and it can spin off into outer space or come flying back at Earth. And this is the type of technology used by the United States Airmen who go above and beyond to break barriers both professionally and personally every day. If you enjoyed this episode, check out this one all about how GPS works. At any given time, at least three of those satellites are overhead of anyone on the Earth. Those three satellites locate a receiver back on Earth and communicate between one another using radio waves. Thanks for watching.